going to add this red oxide acrylic fluid paint because underneath the leaf I want it as smooth as possible. So I'm using this very fluid paint and I'm smoothing it out as much as possible all over. I'm just going to blow dry it so it gets all dry fast. it over this dried red board. Now here's the trick. Instead of all these lumpy areas and going back in and keep loading up, I want a very, very, very thin layer. So I'm going to take this and see how far it'll go. And this is the trick because a lot of people just put a lot. To know when this is ready and dry for putting the leaf on it, you just take your knuckle like this and you it should feel like the back of scotch tape. Take a sheet of wax paper, I place it over the leaf, I rub it, and it actually creates static so that then I can just place it with some excess that I will All clean the up leaf is applied. Then you put wax paper back over the leaf and take cheesecloth kind of crumpled up and you really press hard to burnish. So I want to get rid of the excess. I'm using a big brush for the outside edge and I'm going to use a thin brush, just lightly, delicately getting the excess off in the middle. I don't want to scrub or I'll get lost. Getting rid of the excess by taking a very stiff bristle brush, and I'm using a bigger brush for the sides, but I don't want the big brush on the inside. Instead, I'm going to switch to a very small brush to just get the, lightly get these excess areas off. With a piece of cheesecloth, like a feather, you want to get rid of some of those little sealer, and I'm using Golden's GAC 200, which is really a substitute for a more toxic varnish that I like to use. Uh, but this works really well in workshops and if you're not doing any uh, heavy pouring on top. Very thinly. Now if you want to rush the drying, you can just blow dry it or it'll I'm going to create a hard edge right here, and I'm going to create, um, one hard edge can actually create a sky ground <coughs> idea. So I put scotch tape down, and I'm rubbing it down here where I'm going to paint. And I'm going to take paint, and I'm just going to apply it, and instead of keeping it the same, um, this is some glazing medium, and I'm going to start to change it, its quality, and I'm going to paint it all the way around like this. And then I'm going to get some paper towel and kind of smear it around a little bit and play with it so that it doesn't look so the same. Take the tape off, and there's a hard edge. And I made it a little more interesting by having the paint go from opaque to transparent. All right, so if I wanted multiple colors and not just one color, I could take some medium and I could put it in areas and I could take other colors and kind of blend those in too. But the tape is nice because it keeps it uh, that hard. A little bit of water, uh, it'll create dots when you pick it up later. Here in this area, I'm going to do a soft edge. I'm going to have this orange color go from a really bright intense stripe all the way down to disappearing. What I do is I take this medium, the acrylic glazing liquid, and I put it where I want it to start to uh, fade or start to have the color less intense. That's going to dry totally clear. But at this point, we see it. So I'm going to take my paint, and I'm going to apply it to the top. It's a very intense color. And I'm going to start to go back and forth and work my way into this medium. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go down. And at some point, I'm So ready? Mm -hmm. All right, I take the gold. <laughs> And I start here, and I can go up into that orange area. Oops, what I should have done is ended it here, too. <laughs> some of this off, and I take a wet-dry sandpaper, and I just go over it. And I can sand hard so that I get my red color coming back. shape. So see how you can use the same technique? Okay, this is a special pouring medium. And all I have to do is take a couple of drops of color. And there's a lot of ways to pour, but this is one of my favorite. I call it a dirty mix pour. I maybe lightly mix it, but not too much. And if I poured it over this, whatever's white is going to dry clear. And then you'll see all of these interesting marbleized colors. Now, I could actually manipulate it a little bit 